Hey, everybody, it's time for Better Connecticut. From Studio B, your host. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Kara Sundlin. I'm Scott Haney, thanks for joining us here on Better Connecticut. In 1957, we're taking you back. Debbie Reynolds had the number one song, Tammy. I knew if he knew what I'm dreaming of. What a song. What a song it was. And there was a movie, too. Oh, okay. Apparently, this is the song from the movie. Okay. And Eisen uh, Dwight Eisenhower was president. As you can see there. Abraham Ribicoff was the governor of Connecticut. Oh, yeah. And this happened. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Paul W. Morenci, president of Travelers Broadcasting Service Corporation. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I have just had the honor and privilege of signing on the air for the first time Connecticut's newest television station, WTIC-TV, on Channel 3. We are most happy to have you, our TV audience, with us for these opening ceremonies, which we are calling the past, the present, and the future. We welcome also our friends in the studio audience, among whom, in addition to Governor Ribicoff, our religious leaders, educators, business and civic leaders, and the men and women who comprise the WTIC family of famous alumni. That's pretty yeah. incredible. It, it, it's incredible to look back and all of the history, and I love on Facebook and Twitter when everyone will write back to us. Remember their, they remember being on the Ranger Andy shows. They, they, remember, they, they remember coming here for the first time in a Boy Scout troop. I mean, there's so much history. President Kennedy spoke at our old building. Right, right. Yeah. And that, hence the reason why Kara and I are dressed like this. We're taking you back to the 50s. We're going to be marking that anniversary tonight in our newscasts. Yeah, a lot has happened certainly over the 60 years, and it's been our honor to serve you from fires to floods to wars, 9-11, mm -hmm, yep. and a great list of incredible journalists that have begun here. Many have stayed here. We like to think we have the best team in television, um, but others have also gone on to more bigger and maybe better things, they'll say. Gail, Gail. King and Mika Brzezinski, and of course, uh, we're going to continue uh, to be here for you and have much more fun and news coverage with the great team that we have right now. Yeah, so we're going to have a little fun. Um, I'm going to be making a casserole, I think. You are not. <laughs> no. you, you don't even know how to make a casserole, do you? <laughs> I don't know. That was the thing to do when we dressed like this, right? I, I want to thank Jay from Blades for doing my hair today. Right. We, we tried to get the, the uh, sideburns to go down, but they, they certainly wouldn't he go down. He had nothing to do with your plastic dude, but he did do my great bouffant <laughs> in less than about awesome. 10 minutes. So I like my bouffant. Thank you so much, Jay Look from Blades. Where do I look? Oh, there's the whole thing. Yes. Very nice. Looks Ooh. absolutely amazing. <laughs> All right. So when you're going on a diet, yeah. should you really, really stick to it? Or should you maybe take a break? Well, apparently there's a study out there that says you probably should take a break. Yeah, they studied two groups of people. And the ones who just stuck to it, reduced their calories by a third over a few months. They lost less weight than the people who, after two weeks, Cheated a little and just live life. Well, how much do you think the people in the first group were cheating? Probably all. They uh, just weren't like they didn't really attract them. But I, I, anyway, the, the, de the deprivation doesn't work, and that people lost more. They also say, you know, the whole a lot of the plans that we've talked about, the calorie cycling. If your body gets so used to a third less calorie, it starts conserving. Exactly. So if you shake it up. But anyway, the research. That's all of us just guessing. But the research says the people who took a break after two weeks lost more weight. Which is incredible. So go right. have a piece of cake. Taco Bell. Who knew? <laughs> You know, it's 55 to 70 percent of Taco Bells have drive throughs Well, they're actually going to start adding alcohol to the Taco Bells, and yeah. they're not going to have drive throughs anymore. You have to go in and have a seat and have a drink. Yeah, and some of the bigger cities are talking about Detroit, L.A. They're going to have these cantinas, they're going to call them. This will happen, they think, by 2022. And they're going to make them more local looking. They'll have local art, but you'll be getting a cocktail when you go to Taco Bell. Now, if you see me throughout the day today, do not discuss Big Brother. I have not seen it yet. I had to go to bed early last night, but it was on last night. The finale was on. I have stayed off social media today because I don't want to hear anything. I had a dream as to who won, but I haven't seen or heard Do you want to say who thing. your dream was? Uh, I dreamt that Paul won in my dream. Okay. And Glad you I'm, really don't know. And, I really don't know. And, and so he climbed under a rock today because exactly. no one could talk to so him and they wouldn't me, look at him. don't say anything. Yeah. All right.